finishing off the barn. Oh, that meat looks lovely, doesn't it? Mm. We've done it in two tenderloins, I'll have them for dinner. I was fried up with some mushrooms. Don't want that white scenery bit in with it, do you really? No. And just basically follow the bone all the way around. There it is removed. Look at that. What's that? What's that way? 4-1. So if you tie that and trim it, then you've got your three kilo joint, and you? Yep. Three and a half. One uh, well, three kilos, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Bit of shoulder bone, is it? Yeah. Them off, I think it'll be this tray of diced meat, that'll be about it then, wouldn't it? Yeah. That'd look nice stuff, wouldn't it? Yes. Definitely. Do this slowly so people can see. <laughs> can you do it slowly? I don't know. <laughs> so the butcher's not, so it's fairly straightforward, it doesn't undo, pulls nice and tight. It's like chasing a rabbit round the tree. Around through itself so it doesn't come all the way over. So yeah. It goes round, through, round. No, still can't see it. <laughs> it pulls on itself. Pulls nice and tight. Once you get it, you get it. Until you get it, it's a nightmare. <laughs> so it's a little bit learned, isn't it, for your first couple of times? Yeah. That look all nice by the time that's trimmed up. You take a little bit off each end, it gives it the right weight. Good Hello, I'm Paul Day from Bramblewee Farms in the heart of the fens. So we aim to do a weekly video blog for you, maybe some on a daily basis, maybe some once or so a week. Quieten. I'm a first generation farmer and the aim of our farm is to produce meat, which we sell direct to your door, either local delivery or mail order. Um, I'd like to just take you through day-to-day -day runnings of things, but the main concern of our farm is trying to run 
with low inputs, low residue, growing, so not using chemicals um, as little as possible, or brought in fertilisers, and producing good, healthy, good quality meat straight for you. So I don't know if you want to like to follow us along this journey, so um, if you do, subscribe, push the like button, and push the bell so you know what's going on, and we're trying to update you on a regular basis. Bye-bye.